Riggs Eckleberry Origin Oil is with us uh, via Skype. Of course, OriginOil.com, breakthrough water cleanup technology for oil, gas, algae, other water intensive industries. <clears throat> this is uh, such an interesting company, and I get so much email every time we have him on the air. He's turned into not just a CEO of a publicly traded company, he is now turned into the blue tech guy yeah. across the country. Award winner. And he's, uh, and he's headlining in Las Vegas. Uh, coming up very shortly. A couple the, of show gals with, with them the, now. With the Blue Man group. No, I'm just teasing. Huh. Riggs, nice to talk to you. How are you, sir? Good to hear Do I have to wear blue paint? No, you, no. It would, but although, you you know, he could, and he'd fit right in, actually. I think so. Look at that, yeah. Or maybe red. How many marshmallows can you fit in your mouth? Let's check. <laughs> That's exactly right. Hey, um, first of all, let's let's give a, because I know I just picked up a, a, a new city or two on the television. I want to, let's talk about Origin Oil. Give your elevator pitch, uh, sort of what you guys are all about, so people can understand. And of course, they can go to originoil.com. They can go to our website, bigbizshow.com. It is a publicly traded company. Double O I L is the stock symbol. Riggs, take it away. Well, what is the most finite, valuable, precious resource we have? Water. Exactly. Gold. No. Wait. No. Wait. I gotta. All right, go no, ahead. It's it's, you know, it's, def it's definitely <laughs> yeah, it's definitely water. Absolutely, <laughs> I was throwing Thank that in there for comedic relief. Okay, how am I doing? I'll just shut well, up. I, I rely on you for that. All right, yeah, blue man, go, go, blue man. So the water situation on this planet, of course, is finite. There's only so much water to it that we can drink, and uh, the pressures of industrialization make it such that we have a great market just in treating that water. Now the problem is, look at the California aquifers that have been tainted by decades of careless pollution, people dumping oil down in those aquifers. How could you possibly clean those up? The problem is the huge quantity. Origin has a technology to deal with vast quantities of polluted, <clears throat> contaminated water and turn it into something that can be further treated into potable or reused for irrigation or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we have this, this process that really can handle volume and it's not primarily uh, chemical, so we're not dumping a bunch of chemicals in the water. We're just using this electrical pulsing technology that we're famous for. Well, let's talk about uh, the, the, the let's talk about the latest, which is uh, which is called and, and Russell, you're gonna love this, the smart algae harvester, because that is what the latest press release is all about. Talk to us about that, Riggs. Well, Russ, did you know that algae can be smart? Yeah, no. Did you, did you know that? No. Oh yeah. Huh. I'll yeah. Be smart algae. There's gonna be eye algae. Smart algae. There's gonna be there's gonna yeah. be eye algae very soon. Talk exactly. to it. So, so this How is smart. So you guys, uh, you guys announced that you're launching the smart algae harvester, and, that, and that's this low energy algae concentrator. What does that all mean, Riggs? Okay. Well, first of all, there's been a, a branding of the algae product line now. The algae industry is starting to take off. We're starting to see activity all over the world, where before it was kind of lackadaisical is a, is a good way to put it. So people are, are starting to, to ramp up. And so we've created a product line called the Smart Algae Harvester. It does not mean we harvest smart algae. It <laughs> means it's a smart harvester. It's intelligent enough to pull the algae out without a lot of energy use and, and deliver it in a way that's a viable concentrate for any use, nutritional, chemical, fertilizer, fuel, feed, you yeah, name you it. Can, yeah, you can pelletize it for feed. And here, and suckers? And, and we're All day show, suckers? We're going to show, uh, a, no, sure. we're gonna show a video here in a second. But this is what's interesting is it can process up to 25 liters per minute, and that's 36,000 liters per day. That's about 10,000 gallons a day. That is not only a service rigs, that's also a commodity afterwards, correct? Exactly right. So the water, of course, can be returned to, to keep feeding more algae, and the algae itself is incredibly efficient. Now, 10,000 gallons is not a heck of a lot. This unit is really a proof of concept unit for, for companies to go in and start testing their algae as they're starting to make it, and uh, we're building two things. We're building a smaller one, which is the lab harvester, and that's coming up. And then we're building much bigger ones for when people are really into production, because now you'll have whole lakes of green water that you have to harvest. Riggs, why don't you describe the video we're about to see here? Well, my brother Nicholas, the uh, co-founder and chief research officer, went to Lafayette, Louisiana, for a National Algae Association workshop in January to present Th this this machine and demo it in their little uh, they have a they have a growth uh, demo site where they show off all these technologies and everybody was very excited to go see it and this is what you'll see in the video. All right, let's take a look at this. Of course, uh, Origin Oil. <laughs> Origin 
Journal introduces the Smart Algae Harvester A25. We're in Sunset, Louisiana at the National Algae Association incubator site. Uh, we are testing the new A25 Origin Oil Harvester. The harvester came from the algae growth industry. To me, it was a tool to get my algae out of water. So it was a farmer's tool. As a farmer's tool, it had to be reliable. By getting rid of bacteria as part of this process, by harvesting the algae whole so that you could do whatever you wanted to, biofuels, feed, whatever. At the same time, to make it so it could reuse that water continuously. So that meant chemical free, that meant low operating costs. The algae that comes out is naturally sterilized. And I'll pass this around and you can, you can eat it. This is algae it. that was harvested six months ago and we fed it to fish and fish loved it. We want to make this technology available uh, to really move the algae uh, program forward. The one thing that's come out in this conference is Nick has showed us a machine that really allows us to get the algae out better and quicker and easier with less cost than anything I've ever seen. That's what we use at uh, St. Cloud State University for our harvesting. The reason for that is, is the university said they've gone through, uh, over the past 10 years, many different ones, and they said this is the one to use. The new Origin Oil uh, Harvester, it seems to be doing a good job. It's pretty impressive. We'll have the ability to produce algae because it's an all natural product, and I think that that's what the world is looking for, that's what the world needs. You know what's interesting about this is so so the when you heard the explanation that was Nick Nick Eckleberry and he's the chief uh, inventive officer there for Origin Oil uh, and of course OriginOil.com and you can see that video by going to the website <clears throat> you can also see it on BigBizShow.com but Riggs one of the things that I that, that and this is just for the benefit of the radio audience they didn't see some of the other people that were talking were ranchers and university professionals and industry professionals basically giving you. Uh, the nod on, on a proof of concept. When we come back, let's talk about that some more with Riggs Eckleberry, the CEO of Origin Oil. It's and the a great reason, idea. Well, because there's a couple of questions here, and, and one of the questions I have is who gets to keep the algae? Because I know that they license their products, so we're going to talk about the business model and how it's sort of a licensing model, and, 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 so, and why that's important well, is... Buy a lake in Puerto Rico right now. Well, what I want to know is if, if you were to sell the machine versus licensing the machine, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Couldn't, you keep the, uh, couldn't you keep the goo that comes out at the end? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I see where you're going here. Chat, right. chat. Riggs Eckleberry joins us here. Oh. We're going to have some more Riggs coming up here in just a few minutes. It's a Big Biz Show, bigbizshow.com. Follow us on Twitter at Big Biz Radio. Also, we're going to talk to Scott Jordan. He's the founder of the Scott Evest, but he's the guy that's buying the new Sky Mall. You know that magazine? That's oh, in there? I love that magazine. Fantastic. You're going to hear about that. He's embarking on a new deal, and we're going to talk to him about that. Riggs Eckleberry, Origin Oil, double O-I-L, stock symbol, OriginOil.com. Coming up, Riggs Eckleberry is the CEO of Origin Oil, double O-I-L is the stock symbol, OriginOil.com is the website. Riggs, i got to ask you, after watching that video and listening to Nick and all of the people that were, uh, that were endorsing you, um, does it ever occur to you that you want to sell the machines as opposed to license these types of things? Well, we do, in fact. Uh, you know, there's two ways you can look at algae. It can be looked at as a contaminant, like mm -hmm. when uh, lakes and rivers get choked up with this stuff. Remember yeah. during the Chinese Olympics when, you know, they couldn't sail through. They were the, the sailboats were stopped in the mat of algae. Ooh. And we've proven in a competitive environment in uh, Korea, for example, that we can most effectively remove that stuff. And then the question occurs, okay, the algae has been removed. Uh, it's useful for something. It's useful for energy. Uh, you probably, you know, coming out of a lake, that's probably all you do with it is turn it into energy. The, uh, you know, the, and the interesting part of this thing, though, is then you've got a byproduct, though. Now, who gets to keep that byproduct, Rick? Right. So uh, right now what we are in the business of is empowering an industry that's taking off. All we want to be is embedded everywhere algae is being harvested, either for as a, as a byproduct from, from, you know, literally being a, a pollutant to being a valuable, beneficial product as in fuels, nutritionals, et cetera. If we are part of everybody's production lineup, that's all we're looking for. So you're saying that lake algae is different than what, a, what other kind of algae is there? Well, lake algae is, is uncontrolled. You're not going to harvest that and, and eat it, for example, right? You're, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, yeah. algae is produced under hygienic conditions for nutritionals, okay. and that's a separate market. So you can have so your own little pond in the back and start putting crap in there to make algae? You could do that, and then you start harvesting it. And, yeah. But it takes a lot of algae. Oh, okay. I'm just yeah. wondering. It's a lot of swimming pools, Ross. Trying to see where I'm That's going. It's a lot here, yeah. of dirty. And can you flavor it? Could you have yeah. like a mint-flavored algae no. or something? You're Throw thinking it. of seaweed. Hey, uh, Riggs, 
at what point do you guys make the determination on whether you're going to license versus sell machines? Because I know that yeah. that uh, sticks and bricks was kind of the model in the very beginning. Then you went to a licensing model, which is which is very effective. Uh, will you have in your in your course of uh, your different verticals, whether it be oil and gas or wastewater or algae, will you have different sort of uh, I, I guess uh, um, touch points where you decide it, it, you know, during a certain product or service where you want to license versus actually uh, sell the actual equipment? Right, so there's, uh, licensing is a great model but it takes a while to get into revenue because you give the license to the manufacturer and then they got to make it and then they got to sell it and, they, and eventually the money gets back to you. So meanwhile our technology needs to get out there and become known and become known as a de facto standard. So we decided to go ahead and jump uh, start the whole process by selling machines and mm. our licensees can start with machines that we've made. They don't have to manufacture it right away. They can just start selling, which right. speeds it up for them too. There you go. Riggs Eckleberry, so, 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 so the next, but, but the next step is important and I want to make sure you understand this. By the way, Riggs Eckleberry is the CEO of the company. Double OIL is a stock symbol. Original.com is the website. So Riggs, take us to the last step here because this is important because if the company gets to keep, you know, as you're licensing it, they don't have to build their own machine. They use yours in the meantime. That, that means that uh, that means the profitability for you and for them is immediate, right? Exactly, and there's a third part which is becoming very exciting in places like China, which is joint ventures, where we're a partner in the actual production of these uh, you know, clean water uh, machines, be they in petroleum, et cetera. And so there, we're participating, we're selling our machines, we're making money, and we're participating in the outcome, and that's incredible. The, uh, you know, the, the last part, I can't, and I don't want to let the China thing go without saying the fact that there is a mandate in China about about uh, water cleanup rigs, and, and how much? What are we talking about in gallons and, and, and dollars for that country? Well, this year alone, their budget was a third of a trillion dollars for water cleanup. Hey, that's a sizable. Just, yeah, just get a piece. Just get a little piece yeah. of that. You know, like a <laughs> wow. tenth of a percent. Riggs, thanks so much. Riggs Eckleberry, Origin Oil, OriginOil.com, and stock symbol double OIL. That's isn't it, right? In innovative technology helping make it possible to clean and reuse. I'd love to do this. Water. You want? You want to make you want money to while you sleep.